hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel learn this with mahesh today we will continue with the part 2 video of our yesterday's video where whenever you create a project what and all the service gets created and when you activate a specific service on demand what happens so we will see today yesterday we saw there are a few services which got enabled automatically and when we clicked on our compute engine for the first time compute engine for the first time a service account was created and default vpc was created today we'll follow the same thing but we'll try to uh, activate some other services so the basis we have currently these many users available few our service account few our individual user account now let me click on app engine so this is another service in compute option let's see what happens when you click on this for the first time i just clicked on it so I have clicked on it since this is the first time we are coming to the screen it shows a welcome screen welcome to app engine now let me just go and refresh this to see what happens see if there's any new new service account added so let's see that and if you see nothing has been added so what we'll do is we'll proceed with activating our app engine just click create application and see what will happen so select the region so let me choose mumbai select it and i can just this is an optional step i can just click on next and i'll click on do it later so once we finish this and it shows us the app engine is created successfully we should be able to run it again so the process is still going on you see that it's still going on once it gets created we should see our new service account created which is primarily for app engine so let's wait for that to come up so let me if i just click it it's still going on let me pause the video okay the instance is created the app engine is created successfully now if i if refresh the screen you should see a, a new account a new service account primarily for app engine and you see the new account this is your new service account which was created basically for your app engine related stuff so this is your app engine default service account now as usual what we can do is we can go back to our first screen and launch or try the second command the g cloud services list now it should show app engine related apis also let me run this and see it should show app engine related stuff so doesn't show anything apis nothing specific to app engine it's fine so when you activate your app engine so what gets created is primarily your service account so that's the first part of this today's demo now let's go to our kubernetes engine before we go to kubernetes engine just wanted to show you the updated stuff here so it's exactly what we had seen in our app engine so it's only this is a new addition now let's go and activate our kubernetes engine let's see click on it so first time we are clicking it so some of the service accounts you see this Kubernetes APIs are getting enabled. So for that, if you come and refresh the screen, you should see certain service accounts specifically for Kubernetes also gets enabled. So I've just refreshed the screen. So let's wait for it to come up. And I wanted to leave the screen as is to show you the service accounts which gets created. And you see this, this is a service account which got just created. This is Google Manage service account and because kubernetes uses gcr google container registry you need to have again a service account for that which is again google managed one so like this every time when you activate a specific uh, service the apis gets enabled one last thing we can try to use uh, cloud build and see what happens go to tools click on cloud build and by default it shows the api is not enabled and if you come to cloud im 
keep an eye on this you don't see anything related to cloud build if you just search for cloud build you don't see anything but the moment I enable the API a new service account would be created specifically for doing all your cloud build activity so let me click on this I have already clicked it so once it comes up we should see a new service account getting created so the cloud build has been successfully enabled now if you go back and refresh your screen you should see a new service account specifically created for your cloud build and if I just search for cloud build you should see this so this is a service account so whenever you want to give any access if you just give this user the right credential uh, role you should be able to do your cloud build stuffs so let's do one last thing let's open up our terminal and see what and all the APIs have been enabled this time this time it should definitely show you cloud build so let me run this command again okay it has come and you see this is a new entry compared to the previous one so previous after BigQuery you have cloud build uh, okay after cloud APIs you have stack driver debugging but here after we enable cloud build you see that API enable so hope the video is helpful please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific GCP concept I'm happy to do that thanks for watching